Closed captioning for sport fishing on the fly is brought to you by The Frog Boat, inspired by nature, ingenious by design. Our adventure today takes us to Little Corn Island off the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua in search of one of the most sought after game fish for the fly fishermen, the ghost of the flats or the bonefish. There are large numbers of bonefish here ranging from one to five pounds, but with bonefish it's the fight you're after and everything else is a bonus. Steve Jennings is guiding us during our stay at Casa Guana. This remote island offers the perfect blend of isolation, safety, and of course fish. Brought to you in part by Islander Reels, D. Loomis Rods, and Cloudvale Outdoor Gear. Well, we're ready to go. We're out for the bonefish on the flats. How are we going to go after them? Here? What we have here is a, is a deep water flat. Uh, we got five, uh, five feet in, but close to the shore. And out here, we got about eight feet of water. Okay. Uh, the bonefish are going to be down on these sandy flats. And we're going to skip a, a fly called a Crazy Canuck, which is uh, my variation on a Crazy Charlie. So cast out, fan your casts out, and, and uh, vary your cast in, in, until we locate where the, the school of bones is. And then um, let it sink down about 12 seconds. And then little short strips, you want to imitate a shrimp bursting out uh, on the sand, little puffs of sand coming off the shrimp, and, uh, and see if you can pick up a bone. Now, they may, they may slam it or they may just lean on it, you know. Oh, like that! Like that, there oh, you go. Hi, there you go. They're here. They are here. All right. <laughs> first, oh, first cast. First, first cast, they are here. Oh, oh look cool. at him go. Oh, yeah, that's a bone. That's a bone, That's yeah. a bone, he's going nice. Oh, okay. Now these are any weight rods we're using. They're really, we need this for bonefish because they are such a powerful fish. They are such a powerful fish. Oh, look at him go, there he's going. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> a little less tension on that reel, maybe. Let's yeah, no kidding, holy cow. Right out here. Wow. Look at that. What a great fish. <laughs> Look at that first cast. We just, just started up and right in here. And the thing that's special about this flat is it's a little deeper uh -huh. and the bonefish aren't as skittish. Oh, well, they, they, that one took right underneath the boat. And yep. uh, this, is, uh, this is very typical. You know, if they can't see you, they're, they're not as shy as when they are in a shallow flat. And uh, you can get into some uh, Unreal. lots of fish this way because you don't spook them out. Yeah, there I am, me and you were talking, and Greg takes the cast, bang. I thought it would fish. <laughs> Unreal. First cast. That's awesome. It's probably, there he is. Oh, there he is. That's a nice fish. Yeah. All right. It's not a big bone, but uh, it's a typical feeder bone, about a pound, pound a quarter. But they're very, very powerful, as you can see. Powerful, yeah. If you've caught too many of these in a day, you'd be, you'd be feeling at the end of the day. All right. There he is. There he is. Okay. I just, I hate to handle him. I just pop the fly out, and there he goes. There he goes. All right. Right on. The first <laughs> born, Steve. Thanks. You're welcome. If they're here. And you let the line sink down, you're saying let it sink 12 second count? About a 12 second count. These, these airflow lines, they're about uh, a type one and a half sink. And, uh, but uh, you've got to rely on the fly to get down there. And so therefore, we put a little bit of lead in that fly to get it down. 
Uh, the uh, Crazy Charlie usually isn't tied with, you know, it's got uh, bead eyes or, or lead eyes, but we tie a, a piece of 30 thal lead along the shank. Because you're in a deeper flat here, you want it to go down real fast. Oh, he's going. Look, oh, yeah. look at the reel. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Smoking. Yeah, and then when they come back to the boat, boy, you got to reel up fast. Boy, oh, boy. Stand for a little bit. They'll, yeah, they'll, run to, they'll run towards you as fast as they'll run away from you. So, uh, Whoa, is he you ever? Gotta reel like crazy. Oh, there now, he goes again. They run. Yeah. Oh, man. It's just a matter of finding Whoa. them out, eh? Casting around, standing out the cast. Standing oh, out again, the cast. you have the hit. Yep. Over there, so I had to poach over there. <laughs> Oh, man, and then they go. They come right at the boat, and then they go hard. Wait, you haven't even seen him yet. There, there, he is. there he is. Oh, he's That's a nice, nice size. Kind of the size of me catching. Wow. A pound, pound and a quarter. This yeah. One. A little, yeah. He's a little smaller than that, about a pound. What a fight, though. A fish that size. <laughs> Unreal. Unbelievable, yeah. yeah. See how much slime you got on the line here? It's very, very slimy. And you were saying about that. You picked oh, yeah. up a fish yesterday uh -huh. that you, you grabbed and your hand, your, everything was slime. It, yeah, it, I try not to touch them as, as much as possible because of the, the slime coming off of them, yeah. Oh, that fish is on. <laughs> fish oh, on. Fish on. <laughs> right See, on and I was just going to ask you how we're going to approach this today. <laughs> Got the line out and hooked the fish. It's I don't know awesome. if it's a bonefish, but it didn't, uh, it took a one initial run. Oh gee, it feels like it. Yeah, oh, there, there, it goes. there it goes. There it goes. Oh yeah, there it goes. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Steve, you want to stand up here? Yeah. Just yeah. incredible. This fly we've been using today is an absolutely smoking pattern. It is just, it, it just. Whoa! There he goes. It's just incredible. Crazy canoe. Oh. oh, look at him go. <laughs> and that's probably no more than what a pound, two pound fish. Uh, probably it doesn't. It's about a pound, pound, pound. Yeah, it doesn't. fish they seem to they travel around in a pack and they're all about the same size. You very rarely see big fish mixed in with little ones. You know. Now you're fishing an eight weight rod here, and <laughs> would you think a two pound fish could do this to an eight pound rod? <laughs> I just can't believe it. An eight weight rod, you know. It... Well, you know what we should do is uh, this fly's been working so good today. Well, how do we go and go to the bench and tie one up once we get this fish in? No problem. Yeah, you can they're, tie one for us. They're an easy, easy tie. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy go. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. And you just, you just got to let him go. You just got to let just him run. Can't yeah. stop him. All right. Oh, here what? he comes. There he is. Another bone. Right. Beautiful fish. Oh, well, you know what, Steve? That fly, that fly has worked so good today. What do you call that? We call it a uh, crazy Canuck. And, a and crazy Canuck. It's a, it's a crazy Charlie with, tied with polar bear hair. And that translucency that you get in the polar bear hair is just absolutely perfect. You know, well, like, you know what we'll do is we'll go to the bench right now and you can tie this one up. Oh, you bet. They're All easy, right. easy, easy tie. Good. Well, let's go to the bench. Okay. Well, now that I have you to the bench, I'm going to ask you to tie up that great pattern that we're using out there for the deeper bonefish. All right. This was the uh, deep water crazy Canuck. And the reason it goes down so fast is that it's got a heavy wire hook and a little bit of lead in it to get it down there. Excellent. Well, make sure you have these materials ready before you start to tie this fly up. We're going to tie the fly on a TMC 800S size 4 hook. We'll use some 3 aught Flymaster Plus white thread. We'll use a half an inch of .030 lead wire for the weight. For the underbody, we'll use some large pearl tinsel. For the overbody, we'll use some large clear vinyl rib. We'll use some medium bead chain eyes in gold or silver for the eyes, some pearl crystal flash for the underbeard, and for the overbeard, we'll use some polar bear hair. I put in a good foundation of thread, uh, and so now I'm gonna tie in a short piece of lead wire along the back of the hook, a series of soft loops, and you see that, uh, that nice uh, Flymaster Plus flattens right out 
Now I've cut off five or six inches of uh, pearl mylar tinsel and I'm going to tie that in. Now I'm going to take my um, vinyl rib, the large vinyl rib, the clear, and it has a flat side and a curved side. And it's kind of stubby on the end, so what I'm going to do is taper it down a bit with my scissors. Like that, to form a little point. And that'll tie in really nicely at the back of that lead. I'm going to bring my thread back to the eye of the hook and wrap the pearl mylar around our lead just to form the underbody. Just to form the underbody. This is what gives the fly its mother of pearl flash. Once you've got your vinyl rib tied in, you wrap it tightly around over the top. This stuff is kind of hard to work with, but it does give a large segmented body look. Oh yeah, real nice. Okay, and now we're going to put in our bead chain eyes. And you were saying we can use silver or gold? Silver or gold or pearl. You know, the pearl ones are usually plastic and so they don't have much weight to them, but you've got enough lead in and the hook is a very heavy hook. Okay. Okay, I've reversed the hook in the vise, okay. and now I'm going to put in about eight strands of the pearl crystal flash. This is going to be the under beard, is the it? The under beard, yeah. And we just snip that off about a quarter inch past the hook bend. Now I've cleaned off the under fur in our, um, in our polar bear hair, okay. and that's just a little bit longer than our crystal flash, and we just tie that in too. And that's going to be the overbeard? That's the overbeard, yeah. Okay. This is our last ingredient to go into the pie. Now we'll just finish off with a little bit of thin down flex cement on the tip of a needle. And there it is, the finished uh, deep water crazy Canuck. Excellent. Well, you know what? Uh, that fly looks so good. I want to get it out in the water and give it a try. What do you say we pack this up and get back out there? You bet. All right. Well, I'm going to sit down here so it can hook, hook, <laughs> hook me with that uh, heavy, crazy Canuck fly. Well, it is a chuck and duck fly. They, they are lead weights well, on the fly. There's a little bit of 30 thal lead uh, tied onto the shank just to make them go down a bit. Oh, there's a big oh, shot! Oh, 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 it's a big one! Oh, clear it! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing. Once you locate those fish, you're into them. There's, there's lots of them out there today. Coming at it. Alright, way to go, man. Oh, catch up. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> they ain't huge, but they're a lot of fun. Look at them take that line. Unreal, eh? Unreal. See, they just go and go and go. Oh, you just got out the right. That, that palm tree, that one coconut tree back there, that has been deadly. <laughs> every, it seems like every third cast or so you go in there, you usually pick one up. There's, uh, that's your marker, isn't it? That's the that, marker, Well, that, That's your tree. You said they, they sit in a school and they all sit together in the one spot. And it's right, it's they do. <laughs> the guide doesn't lie. <laughs> Local knowledge. Now you think, you think this fish is gonna be about eight, nine pounds, right? <laughs> oh yeah. And he's a little, little bone about, there we go, about a pound and a half. Look at that. Oh yeah. Whoa. The, where they call him the ghost of the flats. The ghost of the flats, look how they disappear. Okay, here he is and let him sink down. Look how that gone. It's gone, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. There's that crazy Canuck right in the corner of his mouth, right in those rubbery lips, and he's gone. There we go. Just like that? Yeah. <laughs> Shook himself Deep. up. Right on. The joys of barbless hooks. <laughs> what an awesome place to come. A little piece of paradise here. A little piece of paradise. And nobody else around. You're the only fly fisherman on the island today, I swear to you. Yeah, unreal. You know, not very often do you get hooked up on the bottom because it is a sandy bottom, but you know, we've, we've hooked up a few times. Here's the man right here. <laughs> All he does is just dive in. The nice thing about the warm waters, you just go in. Oh, well, it's a bonus. You get to cool off, yeah? Yeah, you dive in and unhook the fly. Not like <laughs> we is, can do up there. This is not the, you know, the ultimate in service from a guy, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty darn good. Close, you, you bet. Uh, well, I'll slip in and get that fly for you. Well, right? I thank you. <laughs> Well, we Big swam guy. into a different area too here. We went into this, the clear water, trying yep. to get real into clear water away from the mark. 
but the, the fish aren't here. No. Nope. And it just shows you when you're bone fishing, especially in the deeper water like this, if it isn't murked up, if there isn't a backwash of building up the sand and things to murk up the water a little bit, those bonefish don't like to go there. No, nope, they like the cover. They do, they like the cover, they're smart fish, and they never go over the black eelgrass. You can see all the dark spots in the water where the eelgrass is. Bonefish never go onto there, or very rarely. They try to stay on the, the sand and always, because they blend in. Yeah. They're open to predators. So, so we'll keep moving, see so yeah, if we can find some more. Yeah, find some more, yeah. yeah. Well, we're heading off to the next spot. And you bet you have bone yeah. fishing. What a blast. But you know what I love about being here? We get a chance to eat a lot of the native food. The uh -huh. roots and the fruits and everything. We had a, a goulash, a kind of soup. What was that called, Steve? Rondon. Rondon. Last night, that was phenomenal. Barracuda, every kind of root, different different. Can't even uh, pronounce them all. The cocoa oh. root, and there's bananas in it, and there was, what was the special white one? Cassava. 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 Oh. Awesome. If you ever come down here, awesome food. You get, you get treated to the best. Oh, yeah. You bet. What's the rondon? What is it for? It's a, uh, a stew, a fish stew with a base of coconut milk. Wow. And you rondon stuff. and put everything in it. That's yeah. why they call it that. <laughs> That's why they call it rondon. You rondon and get something to put in the soup. Yeah, excellent. That's good. Well, it looks like we're almost there. Yeah. Get the rods out again, see if we can get some. Yep. Right on. Well, we're back. <laughs> we're back into fish. And you know what? We found the turbulent water. Steve was saying it's a little too clear over there. And it was too clear. Yeah. It was just uh, really clear water. We found the, the turbid water. That was your first cast? First cast. And, and, I, and oh, we I didn't felt, move very far. No, and I felt the hit. It's just like Steve was telling us, if you feel the hit, strike. If, you, if he's not on, let it sink back to the bottom. And they usually come back and take it or another fish, right? Or another fish is following them up or the, the same one will turn around and hit it. Yeah. Exactly. Look at that goal. And I just I just let that sink back. Two more little tweaks, bang. And he popped it. So unreal. The methods work and that's why it's invaluable to go somewhere you go with the guys. Oh, absolutely, yeah. If you want it, most enjoyment. Whoa. Yeah. They are scrappy. This guy, I don't know how big he is, but you know. It's pretty hard to see him. Oh, yeah. you just can't see nothing. Cloudy of water. Look at him go. Again, an eight weight rod, and I've got it, got the tension cranked pretty good. And you cannot turn these fish. You try to turn them, and they just keep going. Well done. Oh, a little guy. Holy cow. Oh, why don't you guys talk about recommended setup? Yeah, actually, yeah. What is the recommended setup for these bones? I mean, these bones we're catching today all around the, you know, one to two pound range. You're, you could take them on a six weight, but you're going to be pushed. Oh, pushed. I mean, I'm just barely hanging on with an eight weight. So what would you say then, Steve? Eight weight rod? An eight weight rod, yeah. You're going to be able to. There he is. Sure, everybody. Yeah, but still, what a fight. That size fish was way out just pulling hard on an eight weight rod. It's, it's a, bone. a bone. Oh, yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See the fly? The fly is everything. You change the fly and you change your luck. Well, you know what else I did is, uh-oh, uh -oh. he goes. <laughs> he goes. I'm going to be done. There we go. Whew. What else did you change? The way I was stripping. Uh -huh. Like you say, you just keep changing it, and it was just slowing it down and giving it a chance to sit. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the way they were picking it up. Yeah. They weren't picking it up when it was moving real fast. They were waiting, so it was sitting. This guy has lit up. He didn't light up at first. No, he didn't. I thought, yeah. what have I got? I got another one of those little flat fish on. On every side. <laughs> there he goes. It's still oh. pretty green. He ain't coming in yet. Oh, no, not yet. You can see him in the water there. Oh, yeah, okay, bring him in to you. Come on, baby. Come to hand. There we go. There we are. Oh, he's a little small one, but he's yeah. spunky. Right on, what a great day of fishing. Come on, big fella. Let go. There we go. There, excellent. Oh, down he goes. Bye bye. For another day. Right on. <laughs> is the best. Is just the best. Bone fish fishing when you don't have to stock them out, you know you're gonna catch lots of fish. That's what I'd rather be doing. All Thanks, right. sir. I'm ready for fraction yeah, again. Not. And the new retrieve is working. Oh, oh no, it's not, it's a log. He's got the big log fish. <laughs> uh, Steve was ready to go for a swim anyway. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look at him Whoa. go. Oh, God. Comes and goes. Get in the backing. Get in the backing. And that's funny, that guy just headed right for shore. Look at him go up there. Oh, way into my backing. 
<laughs> it's funny when you're fishing from shore, they like to run out. Yeah. And this guy's taking off right now, I guess because the water's so turbid in here. Yeah. Hot fish. Hot fish. I don't know what to compare them to. Uh, it's pretty hard, to, <laughs> pretty hard to compare a bonefish to anything, you know. It's uh, pound for pound, they're packed with muscle, and uh, now he's running towards you as fast, oh, they, fast as you can run. Ever. Fast. And then they'll go again. Yeah, he'll turn around and go, yeah. 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 It's all your backing. And they way into my backing, yeah. All muscles, right? Oh, boy. There he is. Being out muscled by a one and a half pound fish. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, what, what, a, what an awesome, awesome fish. Oh, this one really wanted and he took it right down. Now, when they take the fly, do they just suck it in? Yep. Because they are feeding on the bottom and they just suck it up. And... There he goes. We've caught so many fish today. It's just been a blast. It's been good today. It's been really good. Yeah. You have a really special little piece of paradise here. Thanks for sharing it with us. You're welcome. It's, yeah, the words can't describe it. I hope our pictures do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, no, you can't beat it. Whenever you get bullfish like that, it's not, it's just a lot of fun. You're catching a ton of fish and they're just screaming off line. Oh, man. Yeah, Unreal. it's just amazing. You want to make sure you get this on your calendar to come down to Casa Guana and have the type of fun we had because it happens for about three months a year when Steve's here. It's just a blast. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I feel, feel really privileged to, to be here and doing this. Well, so you, like... you know, we've said it before. We're the only guys fly fish. In fact, right now, we're the only guys out fishing right now. So if you yeah, like the we'll... seclusion, yeah. <laughs> this is a place to come. And when you do come, though, make sure you take care. And conserve our waters. Hey, get great fishing like this. They catch and release all their bullfish and tarpon. Awesome. Yeah, excellent. See you next time. When we take you sport fishing on the fly. Thanks, man. All right. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, right on. <laughs>